Hello, it's Ed here, and today I'll be showing you how you set up a Roxo game capture for the Xbox 360. As you know, that is the new model of the Xbox 360 at the moment, before the, they make this matte black one. God knows why, but anyway, uh, I like the colour of the shiny one, it looks nice. Um, so, what you need to do first is, I know the videos of Roxos are rubbish and they don't really help. But I'll just show you what I've done. So this is my Roxo so far. This side, this is for the computer uh, USB. So you'll plug. So when you plug this one in here, this goes into your computer, laptop, PC, whatever, desktop, whatever you have. These two are the audio. So one's L. I can focus. So as you can see, one's L, which matches the L up here and R, which matches the R up here. Now, the uh, component video out is, it's green here, oh, it's green here, so there's just these colours, so, but when you pull these these out, like so, as you can see underneath, it shows the colour, so you just plug in the colour of the label into the colour inside, so that's pretty simple. Now, so that's that bit. Now, if you've got a new Xbox, uh, you're going to have to buy a component cable because the newer ones don't come with a, don't come with one. Now, I bought one online off eBay for two pounds fifty nine, new. So here it is. It. I know it's not the official one, but it's a nice cheap one. And if you're from America, it's basically like five bucks for just this cable. Um, now, I took out my HDMI cable. This plugs into my flat screen TV, or kind of. Um, so what you do is you plug it in, have it on uh, HDMI, the cable, and this runs, so this is it running round to here, and these cables plug in at the back. So this whole cable plugs in. Now the cable, it's basically the same at the front, green, here plugs into the green there, blue plugs into the blue, red plugs into the red plugs into the red. Yeah, and then the same here is this is the audio, so it's the same. So white plugs into white, red plugs into red. Um now so that's that bit and this just connects as you know into that into the Xbox there. Now you're probably wondering the ones that we just looked at over here, where these lead to, well, it's just the same. All you have to do is plug them back into the TV. So that there, there's the other side. So it's again matching up the colours: green to green, blue to blue, and red to red. And that's that. That's pretty easy. And then, uh, and then with this one, because I didn't have any. It depends on your TV really. But I found a yellow, so I could plug in that one there. And these are the two audios. Um, from this side the plug into the back here so that's those two and it's just you know you just slot it in like that and that's that's it really um, so when you buy one or if you've got one you're going to if you've got the new Xbox you're going to need and one of those component cables which is a bit annoying because you think why doesn't it come with it but if it's two quid then it's all right, you know. Um, that's really it. Remember that you need to install the software on your laptop or PC. So do that, and then then you'll be able to view your game card. So so this so I can move it across. I can yeah sort of view everything I want to view on my screen, and then you can edit it. But that's it. If anyone's got any questions, feel free to contact me through my channel and I'll do my best to help you because I know it's confusing in the Roxo videos you couldn't even class that as a video to help you it's just poorly done I think it doesn't really help you too vague but hopefully this has helped a few people and thank you very much for watching thank you